टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर एट द वेरी आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माइ ग्रैटिट्यूड टू दि ऑनरेबल मेम्बर्स हू हेव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस डिबेट एंड हू हेव गिवन कॉन्क्रीट सजेशन एस दि ऑनरेबल मेम्बर्स आर वेल अवेर देर हेव बीन स्टेटमेंट्स बोथ इन सैड एंड औट दि पार्लिमेंट टू दि एफेक्ट दट ए लार्ज सम ऑफ मनी ड्यू टू दि गवर्मेंट इज लॉकड अप इन लिटिगेशन एस ए मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट इट हेज ऑलसो बीन स्टेटेड इन सर्टन सर्कल्स दट दि गवर्मेंट आर स्लीपिंग ओवर दि मैटर एंड दट नो सीरियस एक्शन इज बीइंग टेकन टू कलेक्ट दोज अमाउंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू टेल देम दट दि गवर्मेंट आर टेकिंग ड्रास्टिक एक्शन टू कलेक्ट दि अमाउंट ड्यू टू दि गवर्मेंट सर I would like to bring to the notice of the honorable members that a sum of rupees thousand four hundred crores is involved in the cases pending before the various high courts, and a sum of rupees seven hundred crores is involved in the cases pending before the Supreme Court of India. There was representation that the government should come up. with a solution in order to clear the pending cases it has also been brought to the notice of the government that the high courts in some of the states have given conflicting verdicts which have come in the way of the administration and have also put the trade and the business into difficulty we have to find a solution for all these problems we have therefore proposed to set up an appellate tribunal which will deal with the revenue matters exclusively as the honorable members are aware our high courts in various states of the country have to deal with so many matters including the revenue matters as such they are not in a position to dispose of the cases coming before them within a short time so we have thought of coming before this house with this bill containing a proposal to set up an appellate tribunal i therefore request all the honorable members to bear in mind the history that lies behind the setting up of the tribunal in this connection i want to tell the honorable members that this is a measure for speeding up justice in fact it will help trade and business as also the administration to ensure speedy disposal of the cases which are pending for a long time in various high courts today the resources have a vital role to play in our economy they are required for our various developmental activities as an honorable member rightly pointed out if revenues which are due to the government and through the government to the nation are held up because of the pending cases before the courts it will create difficulties it has been brought to the notice of the government by members of parliament and even by people outside parliament that when businessmen go to the high courts the revenue due to the government gets locked up as such the government will have to come up with a definite solution sir if you take into consideration all these aspects you will realize that it is in the interests of trade as also the administration to have a tribunal exclusively dealing with revenue matters with this objective in mind we have come up with this bill for setting up a tribunal i appreciate the concern expressed by an honorable member that we should come up with clear legislation and there should not be 
any deficiency i admire this thorough knowledge about constitutional points i assure him that our law ministry has taken care of this letter dated 2nd december 2005 from john and brothers to mrs smith and sons patel road chennai dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter of 20th november we invite your attention to our letters in the matter of settlement of our claims for the damages sustained by our goods during transport you have not replied to our letter asking you to pay the amount due to us your local representative delivered the goods in a damaged condition during the month of october and as you will observe from the certificates he examined only some items but left the other items unchecked he also inspected the goods and stated that he would send a report to your company we had to prepare a list of all damaged goods together with their estimated value and prefer a claim to your local office in bangalore before sending a notice through our lawyer even though we had asked your company to come and inspect the goods within a fortnight no action has been taken in the matter in the circumstances it was presumed that the company had no intention to conduct an inspection of the damaged goods and therefore in all fairness it was hoped that the company had accepted our claim for the damages in this case we have insured the goods and it is therefore necessary to survey the damages at once and compensate the loss yours faithfully